this idea of finding the balance instead of prescribing something for a symptom, trying to find the cause. I mean, is, is the answer really grounding whole foods, vitamin D first light kind of clean eating? Sure. All, all of that stuff, getting good sleep. How far can we get with that stuff versus having to deal with systemic stuff? Oh my gosh, I think a long way. You know, for decades now, I was on the functional medicine circuit, you know, taught on six different continents, over 10,000 hours of seminars, and I call them the magnificent seven. You've got to eat right, drink right, think right, move right, sleep right, poop right, talk right, every single day. Which What, are, what are the, the first seven? Right, go, eat, go slow and, right. and, and, and give me like 15 seconds on each of the seven. Sure, eat right. If God made it, it's okay. If man made it, stay away. Drink right. We're mostly water. The earth is mostly water. The body's mostly water. Clean water, but how about turbocharged water, right? And you, you, whether we're talking hydrogen water, I'm a huge fan of you know medicinal mushrooms, ration infused coffee and tea. But get the most out of your fluids. Think right. I mean, you're you're the master of that that mindset. But keep in mind, the brain is the most nutrient dependent, energy dependent, stress vulnerable, toxin vulnerable system. So we need to dot every I and cross every T in, in order to think right. But a person thinks right when they're coming from a space of love and contribution. Move right. Life is motion. Einstein said nothing happens until something moves. My current philosophy on that is every joint, every range of motion, every day, pain-free with the mindset of improving all that in every single joint. Sleep right. It's critical. You know, and, and there's, there's people that are now getting back on that bandwagon. But there's a book called Why We Sleep. And it's over 500 pages of the greatest scientific references out there. Every single species sleeps. It's critical for our brain and body. And the book Peak by Anders Ericsson, the best of the best sleep, 8.6 hours a night. Poop right. That always gets some chuckles. And Eric, I'll tell a story. I was giving a lecture to rocket scientists at NASA and a rocket scientist asked me, how do you poop right? Yeah, you know, I was in a funny mood that way, right? If you want the money, you got to be funny. I said, well, you don't want a demonstration, do you? You know, that, that got chuckles from the room, but very, very simply, you need enough fiber, water, and neurologic tone to move your bowels every day, and preferably two or three times a day. And then talk right is not just the conversation you have with those around you, but every cell in your body is potentially in communication with every other cell at every other moment. And by the way, the very first step of cancer is a loss of cell-to-cell -cell communication. If you're into network marketing, entrepreneurship, or personal development, hit subscribe for daily content. Don't miss out. We've got you covered every single day. Let's grow together.